Kent, Heidi. Sorry. Heidi Allen, member partner, South Cambridgeshire. Could you talk a bit more, Heidi? Um, I'm thinking there's some really nice sandwiches downstairs. <laughs> You're hungry. Yes, um, I understand. Always hungry. Right, go. Frank knows that. Yeah. Can you also mention that it's always sunny in Morecambe? It you is. Every sentence you've got to say it's sunny here. Okay, yeah. sunny more. Okay. Sunny, pick me up on this one. Have you been to see Eric yet? <laughs> no, I haven't. Oh, we've got to do that before you go. Right, and uh, this is about Jackie. So you're going to have to pick your right out of this. And, uh, so I think this is the third stop on your tour. We met you last in London. Are you hearing different stories? Uh, what are you learning? What have you learned from today so far? Most depressingly, the same. What today really sums up, um, we've got the title for our report, and we're living in um, a um, pressure cooker society, and if things don't change, we all know what happens to pressure cookers. So the message about um, lifting the freeze on benefits, um, trying to get existing benefits to work better, has been made really strongly here. I think for me, what um, has been really stark today, we almost all now accept as part of society and part of life is our food banks. We have food banks. But here we also heard about another level beneath that. Well, um, we do like a, um, a, a food evening where people can come along. And then beneath that, there's a lady with a fridge freezer in her front room. So just how many layers of the welfare safety net are there out there? And I don't think, I certainly didn't appreciate it ran that deeply. So that has been um, really um, huge for me today. You two know, because you've embarked on this tour in the first place, that you believe that, that this story is out there, needs to be looked at, needs to, to be heard. Your problem, though, is taking it back to the MPs. You touched on it, Heidi Allen. How likely are you to be able to convince those people who do not believe poverty it's as bad as some of the people are saying down there. Well, uh, one would hope uh, if there are MPs in that category, they'll come with us on our next tour, because we, we're planning a second one. But the local MP here has reservations about the way poverty is being portrayed. He acknowledges, David Morris, that there are pockets of poverty, but is really concerned about what he believes is an exaggeration of the situation. Well, I don't think it's fair for either of us to speak for David because it's his constituency. But the point is, even in my very brainy constituency, South Cambridgeshire, there is poverty. There is poverty everywhere. I guess what we're seeking to do is very deliberately, we're looking coastal, rural, city centre, um, high employment areas, low employment areas. We are deliberately looking at very different parts of the country because we suspect we all see the same themes around the effect of the benefit freeze, five-week wait for universal credit, etc. So I, think, I don't think there's an MP on the planet of any colour that wouldn't admit that there's poverty somewhere. But it's that, um, as Frank describes it, that underbelly. It's not just the food bank, it's the stuff underneath. And that's hidden. And that's really difficult for people but to see. But is it problematic for you if you have an MP who believes you should be looking elsewhere and not necessarily in their constituency? No, it shows the size of the task. But um, my reaction, listening to the testimonies this morning, is that how similar they are to testimonies we hear elsewhere. Um, and the root cause for everybody that spoke is a lack of money. Um, and that's why we've got to actually focus on the level of benefit, lifting the benefit freeze, um, making sure that the whole of the austerity that's been put on families is lifted. Uh, there are clearly other issues as well about funding for the NHS, um, funding for public services, but one could make a really big start in getting more money into the purses and pockets of the poor, and that would begin, and it begin to, to make a difference. Because the story now, as, as we go round, is so repetitive. It's it's not as though we've fallen amongst a peculiar group of people. We've got a special story to tell. It's the same story wherever we're going. And you, you know, Heidi Allen, after the last visit you made, that there are many people who find it odd that you're on a trip like this because they believe your government, some of the benefit cuts, freezes that you voted for, have contributed to where we are today. Um, and yes, it is probably unusual for a Conservative MP to do this, but I haven't voted for them all. 
I mean, in my voting record, if you want to talk about that, isn't pure and simple support for the government every, every opportunity. It's through my role in the select committee that Frank, of course, chairs. But the point is, you know, I don't understand poverty fully. I can't through reading reports on a select committee. I can't by just spending my time in Westminster or South Cane. But you've got to go out there, shake yourself up a little bit, and come home and bring the evidence with us. And that's what we're determined to do. And are you optimistic that this tool will bring change in the end? Oh, we wouldn't be doing it unless yeah. we were optimistic. I mean, we'd just be um, punishing ourselves if we didn't think what we're seeing um, and reporting and how similar the issues are and the extent of people who are hungry who find it very difficult to, some of the time to heat their homes and so on. This is now a common occurrence for far too many families in Britain. And does it hurt every time you hear it? Mm. It's terribly difficult I found today to fit into a framework in which I could talk to you for example and it's very interesting when one of the local doctors talked about you know we all thought well, the world had white swans and then a black swan arrived how do we describe the black swan to a world that thinks there's any white swans that's your challenge isn't it taking this back absolutely but that's why you're here because cameras help. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, this is, I mean, we could rant and rave in the House of Commons, but the sad fact is doing this, these programmes would be more effective than being in the House of Commons, but we're only doing these programmes because we are part of the House of Commons. That's okay, great. This time we need a very quick two. Thank you both very much. Oh, it's Sonny and Morgan. Oh, oh, oh yeah, that's right. I'm going to have to ask you just, I'm going to pop back here. Yeah. It was sunny yesterday. It's really our favourite. We need to hold up a card. All right. Just look out the window.